I just I love the passion that wrestling fans have for stuff like this. Um, my worry, I'll tell you what my worry is, is in the follow up because we are still waiting for Jungle Boy to mm -hmm. complete this process of becoming this giant star, right? We've seen him face Jericho and we've seen him get close big wins and then they moved into the tag team. So I'm assuming he's at some point going to go back to the singles. But the follow up is what is going to be necessary for this Wheeler Yuta to continue to be on the ascent. If it just becomes like, oh, he's in the club and now he's just the, the third guy in the club. And we don't build off of that. Then whatever that momentum is, you know, I think Tony Khan actually tweeted. He said something like, like a star is born or something like that after that match was over. Um, so it's, it's got to be the follow up. There, there's got to be some growth. If they see him as maybe a future TNT champion and he gets in that mix, then that's good progress. But if he just kind of he, he's just in the club then it's like, okay, maybe that moment wasn't as great as, as we thought it was. And also, I know a lot of people say this, I would have rather this happened on Dynamite because there's so many more people watching um, for moments like this, right? Uh, now, let, let's build Rampage back up so that we could put moments on this and, and not waste them. But yeah, there's another thing that I was thinking about was, man, this would have been better on Dynamite. But I say 600, that- 600,000 people watch Rampage. You know, 120,000 yeah, ish more than usual. Uh, you know, it, good. it worked, but I, I, you know, two shows, man. I, I, I think, I think that second show was a little too early for them, but it was, it was either do a third hour or do the second show. And I think Tony made the right call by picking a second show and, you know, getting a second night on the yeah. channel, on the station. That's a big, I, I think people that, like, that's a great, business move for tony you know to convince him like no 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 give me another night because that another night could turn into two hours eventually you know you do a good job um i i like the yuda stuff i i think most people do i i, there's, I don't find anything wrong with it i he's he's one thing that they did great with him where wwe would not have done it this way and i'm curious if the audience enjoyed it as much as i did or they don't like it he never backed down once like, he didn't come off as, like, I'm tough, but you know what? You beat me, and he does, like... I always put it out as, like, the like the old man Hogan handshake that he did at WrestleMania. <laughs> you know? Like, he didn't do one of those. Um, I think everybody know, knew when I did this, you know? <laughs> yes. Um, nobody... They didn't do that. Like, he was he was an mf -er till the end. You yes. know? He, he fought through the end, and then even at the end, like, he wasn't... He didn't do the sad puppy. Keith Noir in the chat. Perfect. Perfectly said. He didn't do the sad puppy that they all do. Uh, you know, and and even with his team, you know, when um when Trent turned on him, he's like, he's like, you don't, you know, what we brought you here, now you're leaving. And he didn't back down from Trent. No. So I like that his character is that he's like a pit bull. Yeah. I'm into this. Now, I don't know if it resonated as well as it did for me for other people. Well, the, again, the follow up, right? We should see something on Wednesday. That is the next step. Like, is he initiated? Like, w what happens when you join the team? Do you just get the sweatshirt that Moxley wears? Do you get the, <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. Do you get to wear the the white t shirt that Daniel Bryan wears for? Like, what is the thing? The initiation here, and then what's the next big match for him? Because he's proven that he can go toe to toe with these top stars what is next so that he doesn't just get beaten really quickly and then we kind of forget about it. So that's what I'm yeah. very interested in as far as this is. But it was good stuff. It made me watch Rampage for the first time. Like I watched it to see Swerve and I watched it to see this match. It's that show that's sitting on my DVR and Sunday night when I'm like, I should probably catch up with this. By the way, SmackDown from time to time is like is like that as well. And then I just end up deleting them because I'm like, we got to go through all this again starting on Monday. So, you know, I, I want some of my life back. And, that, and that's what ends up happening. So 